Welcome to our third video that will show you how to create a personal uh, portfolio tracker in Notion. So to recap, in our first table, we listed out all of our investments and balances and some, uh, some account type fields. Then we created a helper table, which basically showed our underlying assets, equities, bonds, and different return profiles. So now how do we combine the two together? So we're gonna go back to our main um, tracker, which has each account, and we're gonna to go to this last, this new column, where we're gonna add a special uh, uh, column type. We click in, we go to property type, and the column, the type is under advanced, it's called relation. This basically says, if you look at what Notion's description, allows pages in this database to reference pages in other databases. So we create a relation and it's going to ask me what's the name of that other database and it was called underlying assets um, and then I create the relation. But look, nothing happened. So now where you go in you can see if I click in the cell it gives me the option. It's like what is this? Is it an equity? Is it a private? Is it a bond? Is it cash? Is it balanced? So I'm going to go in to each of these investments and quickly tag them. So let's say the BlackRock 401k uh, is uh, equity risk. Then I go to the next one, Vanguard taxable. Let's say that's balanced. Then we have two angel investments. Those will be privates. Uh, privates. And then... Uh, 529 plan, we'll say it's equities, and then two bank accounts, sorry for the kids screaming, uh, two bank accounts, which will be cash. All right, so now it knows that there's a relationship, but we got to do something with it. So I want to pull in the expected return for each of these asset types. So I go and add another column, and this one's going to be expected return. And the property type will be advanced, and it's going to be a roll-up. And so when we go into the roll-up, then we click again into a sun. It's going to ask me to pick what am I relating this to. So select an existing relation, and I'm... Uh, oh, I want to change the title. Actually... Scratch that. I want to change the, the, the name here. I forgot to do that. We're going to call this uh, underlying, it'll make more sense, underlying type. Now I go back to expected return. I go to roll up. I configure the roll up. So I select an existing relationship. It's underlying type. And then it will tell me what do I want to pull in? I want to pull in the expected return. And for calculate, I just want it to show me the value. I'm going to hit an enter and watch what happens. Boom. It pulls in all of the expected returns. So privates were 15%. Not even, no copy and pasting. This is how it differs from a spreadsheet. So now I'll do that again for the worst case loss, max loss. Again, property type is uh, relation. Uh, actually, I'm sorry. Property type is roll up. And then I click to configure roll up. And I select the existing relationship, which is underlying type. And then the property, which is the data in this column, will be max drawdown. There you go. So you, here you have the linkage between two different uh, tables. And you see how this is more robust than a spreadsheet. You only input the data once and it flows through and you never have to copy and paste. So you're really uh, creating a more robust and faster uh, structure. That's the end of part two.